All Very right, nice. Frank, you ready for us? Take a chair. Frank the tank. Get Frank in. The tank. All right. Okay. Welcome, guys. All right, welcome. Hey, this is pretty cool. Very nice. Oh, wow. That's the two Excellent. of you? All right. Fine. I'll uh, get out here first. Oh, are we going to go riding around? That's the idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's... Can you drive and interview at the same time? <laughs> hey, I'm not taking notes, don't worry. Nah. <laughs> okay. Mohammed, hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for welcome. having us, Frank. Um, as I'm interviewing Palestinians in the diaspora, I got to know Mohammed, and he informed me of his friendship with Shalom. Um, and basically, I thought it was a great opportunity to interview two friends in the diaspora. This is Shalom. He is uh, also an FIU graduate and an Israeli American, um, living here in Miami, Florida. Well, Mohammed is a Palestinian American. Uh, he's also a PhD candidate uh, for, I believe, uh, international relations. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually met Mohammed about a decade ago, and uh, we've been friends ever since. When we do things like any everyday friends would do, eat together, play sports, go to go to watch sports, family, um, family functions, yeah, go family. to dinner, hang yeah. out, um, just regular regular friendship. Uh, you know, you never think of uh, you know it being anything out of the ordinary, um, but in a way, it kind of it kind of is also. So how did when did you kind of realize that it is also a little bit special? I mean, I probably right away, uh, considering how we met and uh, when we were asking each other's backgrounds. So it, right away, it was it was something unique and something special. We had differences, and you know, yeah, we, uh, we thought differently. Yeah. We were able to overcome them and, and still form a friendship. So how do I have to see that? Like, did that take like uh, hours of uh, of discussions uh, oh, in a in a bar over a drink, or uh, you know how? No, it was, it was gradually over, over a few years when we were in, uh, in, in college together. Um, and we, we had numerous conversations, especially over politics, over what was going on in the Middle East. So it was interesting to hear another person's point of view without them screaming at you or shouting. And uh, it, essentially, we were able to overcome the divide. Okay. And was uh, Shalom your first Jewish friend, Mohammed? Shalom was not my first Jewish friend. Uh, I did have I Jewish friends him. before him. <laughs> was that your first? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the way you phrase it is so funny. I know. <laughs> when, when I was asking no. it, I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll look into the camera. No, he was... Uh, actually, yes, he was my friend. Uh, um, so both of you are born in the U.S. Did I get that right? Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. Um, but you have friends and relatives still? In your respective home countries? Yes. Yeah. Um, so how do they react to that? How do they react to our friendship? Yes. And our movement? You want to go first? Over there is different than over here because well, over there, there, there's something happening practically every single day. So it, you're literally in the cauldron. There's plenty of Israelis and Palestinians that are friends in Palestine and is in Israel. You know, we're not the kind of special circumstance. It's not that it's rare, it's that it's mostly not really highlighted. What's yeah, really highlighted, what's really accentuated is the conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think there's more emphasis on how we're different and that's, that's what we're trying to change. We're not the exception. Uh, both communities deal with each other relatively all the time in, in, in respectful, peaceful manners. You have like this joint Facebook page now, so what started as a as a, a friendship became, became a lot more. Can I call it some kind of activism or...? or oh yeah, you oh, yeah absolutely. Point, I, I think. Yeah. So. Absolutely, it's uh, activism. We, uh, we're, we're involved with many different organizations, uh, both in the Middle East and also here. Um, Black Lives Matter. We're also affiliated with Combatants for, Combatants for Peace, as well as Peace Now and Rabbis for Human Rights. We've interacted with all of those. Uh, you know, we kind of use our example of not only our friendship, but also to highlight other people's friendships. And correct. We've plumed to about uh, 22,000 followers. So I think it's got to it's got to be touching somebody. Would you consider yourselves as, as somebody who one day would like to live there? 
I do actually. I do, um, I do want to live there uh, at least for some time. Yeah, and we do have family members that that do live over there. He's even met some of my family members. Yeah, so I was going to ask you. I visited his family. He visited over some of my family Sorry. over there, and uh, my cousin and his wife and mm -hmm. her their children. So. Uh, so we got to see the house. You did or did? Well done. You did. You I did, got right? to see yeah. the design. Yeah. Well, that was really nice. Smack dab in in Ramallah. Before Muhammad and I came out with our movement, I probably would not have gone to Ramallah. But after we started that movement, yes, because I was able to really you know, um, speak to so many Palestinians. I've spoken with thousands of Palestinians. So I would say that, yes, Muhammad played a huge role in, in that factor, for sure. I think there's an atmosphere, too, among some Israelis that are scared to go to the West Bank. Yes, and, I was, uh, I'll be honest, I was scared to go at first, but then I started getting used to it. Yeah. I went to Ramallah by myself, and people thought that I was crazy, that I was going to get lynched, <laughs> I was going to get shot, killed, <laughs> this, that, shot, stabbed, all this. Um, nothing happened to me. I went to Ramallah by myself. In fact, I was, I was in the line coming back uh, into, uh, what's the, um, it's, it's slipping my mind, but what, what's... Uh, uh... Colombia, Colombia, Colombia checkpoint. I'm, I'm in the line for hours, right? And I'm speaking with Palestinians, and we're rolling down the windows, and we're making jokes. We used to joke. This was back when Obama was still president. Uh, we used to say, um, you know, uh, I think it was John Kerry was going to the Middle East, and we said, you know, hopefully one day we'll be on that airplane with him, representing, you know, Palestinian Israeli interests. So who knows? Maybe that'll. One day still be a possibility, at least us traveling together and uh, making a difference. That'll be the day. Okay. That'll be the day. Thank you, guys. It was great. Wonderful. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Hey, my pleasure. Okay, now I can focus more on the roads. <laughs> <laughs>